Hello everyone, and welcome to another Haller for an Hour. This is Space Tale Lost in the Sands, which is a uh, free-to-play prologue to a puzzle adventure platformer that's going to be called Space Tale Every Journey Leads Home. Uh, the story is about a dog named uh, B who survived a one-way flight to space and who discovers new worlds, meets alien species, and tries to find her way home. It's, it's, uh, it's like Laika. I think Laika was that first dog that was hit by Russia up to space. First or living organism to space. It's kind of like if that dog had a fantastic adventure instead of, unfortunately, perishing. Like, actually happened, unfortunately. Um, this looked really interesting. It seems to be like a 2D sort of action Metroidvania platformer puzzle game. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, as I've tried to set this game up, it doesn't actually run that well. It may seem fine right now, but unfortunately this game, uh, this prologue, it's, it's performance sucks. Especially for a 2D game that's not doesn't even have 3D elements as far as I can tell. There is something terribly wrong with this game's GPU performance, and so I cannot properly stream this. But we're going to go ahead and try to take a look into it. Probably a short look, uh, just to check it out. Uh... But, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, well, thank you first off, because it might not run that well, but if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but I need more viewers to do to, to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or talk, think about doing so. It really does help out. It makes a difference. And also, we just love to have you. Uh, also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And you can check out my merch store that I now have if you want to buy some cool swag. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. And yeah, the the uh, the I don't know why, probably because everything else is breaking. But I actually have to close the intro track and open it manually for some reason. Oh well, whatever. Actually, I think I know why. Let me guess. No? Yeah, it's just not working. Whatever. <laughs> this happens sometimes. It's probably because of the game. <laughs> it's probably because of the game. Anyways, here's the thing. It's running fine for right now, but the moment I... I don't have the game focused currently. And this is an interesting thing about exploit and games that run poorly. If I don't have a game focused, sometimes the game will run better. But the moment I focus the game, watch what happens to my avatar. Watch what happens to everything. It's just... It just... just it does... It just works, except for it doesn't. I'm going to go ahead and new game, though, and then click out of the window so we can at least see the intro and see how that's going. Is what I would say if it didn't automatically pause when I tried to leave the window now. I have to trick it. Hold on. Dang it. I need, to I need to click out of the Man window. has always oh, considered the sky to be the final border. And although he considered himself the pinnacle of creation, he sent animals on the first space journey. This is our tribute to the little heroes who risked their lives and paved the way for people to reach the stars. It is also a story about a dog who survived a journey into space to visit foreign planets and meet their inhabitants and most importantly, find her way home. Now, our dog B is being drawn into a space portal. Is this a gateway to Earth or perhaps a sign of serious trouble? Thrust into a vortex of an energy cyclone, B lost control of what was happening to her. She clung to a teddy bear the last memento from home, and watch the desert at the other end of the tunnel come closer. There was no sand or wind inside. This is not home, but a completely different place. Neither a human nor even a robot will reach it, and B will not be able to escape. No, a gust of wind whistled without warning and stole the last bit of hope. B has nothing left. She can only push forward alone, but where? 
towards the teddy bear and the memories of what she lost after her departure from Earth, B doesn't want to give up her treasure. Hopefully, it's not too late to reclaim him. Did it may feel like that cutscene was slightly patronizing? <laughs> I don't know, something about the way the voice actor was speaking. It kind of felt like, all right, kids, do you know how to say, do you know how to count to, to ten? One, two. <laughs> I was kind of feeling that vibe a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so this actually looks really kind of neat. I, I'm digging, I actually, <laughs> I have a thing for, uh, Quadrupeds and spacesuits. I don't know. I just think it looks nifty. Unfortunately, ugh, this looks cool. Chapter one, help lost and found. Like, it does look cool. Hold A and D to move left to right. Hold. It wants you to use. By the way, it doesn't really have controller support, apparently. I saw some reviews about that. But uh, this is my senses. You can see that I have a yellow line emitting for me. Uh, apparently, it lets me know where to go. Okay. I got a thing. There's a thing to the left. But yeah, this is this is a shame. You can see the gameplay, or what you you can see what frames of the gameplay you can see. If there's only ways, some way I could capture it without this happening, I don't know if there is, but I'm going to try something. Now the intro cutscene wasn't actually really affected by the issue, I have to say, because, um, well, to put it very simply, it didn't really move that much in the first place, so it was kind of fine. I'm gonna try a weird way of capturing. I'm gonna do a window. I'm gonna do desktop capture. I'm just kind of curious if this might work. Nope. <laughs> well, worth a shot. I didn't think it would, but oh well. Kind of cup. Okay. It's a dang shame. I really want to play this for you guys. But uh, if the developers don't know how to optimize, you can see for yourself. It's not. I mean, even with the limited frames, you can see for yourself, it is not a very intensive looking game. But you just tell, tell, tell XSplit that. Honestly, no, tell my computer that. This game literally takes up 95% of GPU. And that is kind of insane. Uh, when I don't have the game focused, it takes 50%. I don't think in any, like, I don't have the world's greatest in the world computer. But I will tell you, I have a good enough computer that a 2D game of this fidelity should not be taking literally all of my GPU, aside from, like, 5%. <laughs> I can give you guys a slideshow, but that's the best I can do. But now, keep in mind, this is a free prologue. They're going to be releasing the full game for actual money later on. And I must say, if your prologue is to build hype, well, it does seem cool. But, it looks like there's a stress mechanic, huh? Uh, it does look cool, but this, I mean, if this is the performance I would expect, if this is the performance the free prologue has, then this is, I imagine, the performance you'd expect out of the full game. Which seems... Uh, bad? <laughs> like, I wouldn't look forward to that. And again, I can play this. Actually, it runs fine. Here's the sad thing, it's running fine for me. But it's nonetheless very intensive. If I had a lesser computer, I probably couldn't play it. I can play it myself, but you guys can't enjoy watching me play it because of the performance issue. So basically, I've hit, yeah, that's, the, that's the threshold I've seen. There's a lot of games where I, I can play them, but I can't stream them. Huh. You can try to befriend Scaradilla or use her hostility to your advantage. Ow. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay then. Hold left control where a creature sees. Confirm your actions with click and curve. Okay, so. Oh, I can. Look at this. I have a radial wheel where I can do doggy things. That's kind of neat. So I can attempt to. I can attempt to chill out the armadillo instead of fighting it. That's interesting. <laughs> I killed me again. <laughs> Maybe you could tell via slideshow, but I am attempting to make it happy.
Rolling over seems to work. It likes me rolling over. There we go. I have friend. He is purple now. Oh, okay. I, I'm I'm riding him now. <laughs> this is kind of adorable. All right, what can we do? Oh, an electric. Don't mind if I do. May as well catch it at this point. It's not like I'm terribly involved in the game, sadly. But yeah, this looks neat, but it's one of those looks neat, doesn't run neat. And yes, I can play it by myself, but that doesn't really matter. You know why that doesn't really matter? One, I can't stream it for you guys. But two, more importantly, if I can if I can't stream the game because it takes up so much performance that I can only play it by myself, then what that means is that for other people with less com lesser computers than me, they probably can't play this game. In fact, even though I am playing the game, I'm noticing the frame rate ain't perfect. Uh, I can tell you that much, since you guys can't obviously see. Uh, it doesn't... it doesn't actually, um... Yeah, it doesn't actually run that well. Like, even... even for me. Even for what I see. I can make friends. I don't know what that really does for me, but that's nice, I guess. Yeah, this is free, but that's honestly, I don't know. If you're hurt, you can pick up a healing item. Is that a peanut? Yum. <laughs> Live a bee, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to play more of this, but oh, let's see what oh, I got. Cutscene. Why press forward without a goal? The scent recedes and disappears, and B loses the will to search. Do not fall oh, no. asleep. Yeah, this voice actor is weirding me out. Do not fall asleep. It's like, I'm dying. Could you maybe say that line differently? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do not fall asleep. Warmth. One of a kind. It moves unpredictably, <laughs> like tongues of flame. B understands this feeling, even though she only now sees the person responsible for it. And she learns the name of the wisp, Rose. She already knows that she has found a friend. Actually, isn't this written weird? The person? Yes, that's a person for sure. Look at that person-like entity there floating in the air. Yeah, it feels like, you know what the dialect sounds like to me? It sounds like it was translated from another language. It's a little rough, and then the voice actor just read it straight instead of trying to, and then they got an English voice actor to just read it straight, which just made it sound more awkward. It kind of sounds like it was translated from another language. The translation is a bit Englishy, and then the voice actor read it straight, which makes it sound even weirder. That's kind of how it feels, at least. Pet? It's all pet option. Okay, well. So then you have I have a wisp I guess oh okay no oh. that's useful to have just just a your own portable your your own meteorite friend that can break walls by just charging into them that's nice boom <laughs> it may be a PowerPoint but you can still kind of get an idea of what's happening but yeah I, I do think this looks interesting. And I could tell the Englishy script and the voice actor if it ran well, I wouldn't really mind. Is that a giant dragon? What's that in the back? Okay, I don't know if you guys saw the background image, but uh, I'm fine. Let me just try to rush to see what the hell that dragon was all about. I want to say a dragon. I like dragons. Oh no, uh, I could, could not do that job. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching the slideshow, by the way, everyone. I appreciate the, uh, appreciate you guys tolerating it. Don't. Friend. Friend. Okay, never mind, no friend. Where? <laughs> Fell the ledge, right? I think I'm supposed to friend this guy, so let's see. Oh, 
Okay, everything that I do just makes it angry at me. Fine, die. Did I just kill myself? I think I think I just slabbed into myself. Shut up. Oh, he likes cartwheels. Get paw. This guy has some really weird animations. It's like we watch normally. Not really. I mean, you can play this for yourself, I suppose. What am I doing? My dog is not sitting properly, it's glitching out. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so I guess I'm supposed to get an upgrade or something. I actually know where to go, let's see. Dead. <laughs> Ow. What exactly? Okay. I, I, I don't know about the gameplay quite. All I can say about the gameplay is that it seems to exist. And it's a bit odd. Oh, okay. I guess I was supposed to go here. I'll try my de best to describe. It's... Hmm. I mean, I do like the interesting system of like, oh, well, you could actually make the monsters friendly. It's like, okay, that's kind of cool. But also, like, I don't know what the point of that is exactly. You discovered a piece of lore. Nice. Scan the object by pressing E. Okay. Check the gallery in the main menu. Okay. Who is this friend? Kyako is a member of the race indigenous to Gula. The once proud leaders used to dominate the planet's other natural uh, other inhabitants. Just as they once usurped the right to wealth and natural resources, their position has now been taken over by the AI. Brutal exploitation has triggered a massive starvation that caused his kind to become feral, fighting each other for survival. So we have a pig dragon. Pig dragon. He he looks like a bara. I'll take him. <laughs> So that's what we saw fly in the background, I guess. Yeah, that. Oh, you can change areas. Okay. I I feel like. Uh, Maybe I have to look over. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, that was a glitch you guys were told to not see. It's That was, that was a... That one were de depended on frame rate. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to find the... Uh, my objective, if you guys can tolerate the frame show for a little bit, uh, is to find the Warhog Dragon, because I would be interested. Is there a map? No. It does seem to be intriguing. It seems like it has its own systems going on, which is kind of cool. But it doesn't matter much if it's a, a game that is hard to run. And again, I having had a weaker computer before this computer I have now, I know for a fact that optimizing... You know, I've, I've preached this multiple times on Halo for now. I'm sure everybody knows this by now. But I will not generally praise a game with bad performance. I very much consider bad uh, a game with bad performance to be a direct, a direct like mistake, a direct, you know, avoidable mistake from the developer. If you want to make a game, make it so that a lot of people can play it. It, it feels like a no-brainer to me. Like, why make a game that only some people can play? I mean, yes, if your game requires a certain level of fidelity, fair enough. 
But if you're making a game like this, which is literally just 2D art and effects, this should absolutely be playable and streamable and by, you know, by weaker computers. Certainly playable by weaker computers and certainly streamable by stronger ones. And I, I definitely don't have the worst computers, so. So I think I'm supposed to get an upgrade to jump that pit, but I don't know what the upgrade is, so I'm gonna look around, I suppose. And I can befriend some of these guys, but... Also, Liam, if you were gone for a bit, yeah, nice PowerPoint, I know. <laughs> Sorry, not a lot I could do about it. I literally tried my best setting up before I actually started, and yeah. It's just how it is. Unfortunately. And you're probably wondering, why aren't you going up, Charm? Why aren't you going up here? Well, it's hard to tell the PowerPoint, I'm sure, but these platforms actually go up and down. So when I land on them, they lower down a little bit, and then I can't make this jump. I think maybe I'm supposed to use the armadillo, but I couldn't quite figure out how. Yeah, Car, I know, like, I, I, honestly, the worst running games I've seen are generally games that aren't even 3D. I don't know how somebody can put their game together in this day and age, in the year of 2022, and it's just a 2D game, and yet it runs shit. Like, I don't understand how that's achievable. It feels like an accomplishment, almost. Like, wow, I can run this high-fidelity 3D game just fine, but this one? Nope. <laughs> Could the bar broadcaster be double recording? Even if it was, that's not the issue. I will put it on screen, because I know that some people only believe something if it's displayed to them. And also, it may I may as well. If I do this, watch this. I would like to demonstrate. I do this. Um, I believe that will display it. Oh, not quite. I didn't stretch far enough. If I pull that up, that'll do. So, take a look at the, uh, oh, I didn't actually, oh, hold on, one more thing I forgot to display. Take a look at this. Is that displaying correctly? I think it is. Eh, not quite. Sorry, try to get the window size right. There. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So take a look at that. Uh, just so I can display what I'm describing. Notice the GPU usage right now. Notice the space tell is using 52.7% of the GPU. And yes, I realize XSplit Broadcaster is using quite a bit right now. Yes, it's possible there might be some ways I could optimize XSplit a bit more. Let's ignore that, though, for a moment, because here's the interesting part. Watch this. I have the game deselected right now. Let me select the game. Let me let me make the game the active window again. Watch what happens. Oh, 
Do I really need to say much more? No game should be doing that. So, yeah. While there's, of course, ways I can optimize, this is a good computer, and no game should be doing that with this computer. Or at least not except for, like, the latest Crisis game. Maybe that should do it, but not this. <laughs> so, yeah. I think my point is made. Um... Yeah, also, there's no logical reason why a game, when unfocused, would take... like Why 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 when focused, the game would take 200% more GPU usage when it's compared to when it's unfocused, let alone how much it's taking. Like, that's, you know, that just doesn't make any sense. But, uh, yeah. Xbox tried its best, man, but this game sucks for it. <laughs> I do, I do, I do hate on Xbox now, then. Exploit creates issues in itself, but uh, I don't think I really blame Exploit on this one. Also, I'm going to stop because I seem to be stuck as well. I don't really quite understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, admittedly a little distracted, but yeah, it kind of got stuck there. You can get the idea, though. This does look interesting. I would suggest checking out the prologue if you're, inter if you're, if you're interested to f see how this is without the performance issues or, well, without the issues of watching it being streamed. Uh, go check it out for yourself, but I do caution that if you don't have the most powerful computer, I bet this game won't run well for you. Um, but you can take a look at the prologue. It is, it is free on Steam. Uh, and I would say that it's interesting, and I would look forward to the main game, but honestly, I don't look forward to the main game until they fix this prologue. This prologue game, if they can fix the optimization of it, which I hope they freaking do... Uh, then I would say, okay, you're looking forward to the future game. If they can't, I would not say to spend your money on the eventual release of the main Space Tell game. I really do love this, though. I love the concept of it, rather. I love Space Doggo. I love Space Suit Doggo. I love Dog Explorers Egg Planet. I like, I also really like the Doggo does cute Doggo things to befriend the random animals on the planet. There's, there's good stuff here. I'm sure that gameplay-wise, this is fairly solid, from what I, from the little look I've taken, but it doesn't really matter if you can't enjoy the gameplay because of performance. So, yeah, shame. It's a shame to see games taken down by their own lack of focus on optimization. But it is an all too common. It is an all too common thing in the gaming landscape these days, and it's a shame. People really. If you develop a game and you have a powerful computer, share your game with friends with weaker computers. Have testers with lower-end systems. Make your game an experience everyone can enjoy, instead of incidentally making experience exclusive to only certain groups of people. That sucks. But in any case, that was Space Tell Lost in the Sands.